Hi, welcome to Arm Wraps. My name is Randy Miller, and what you're seeing right here is a boat wrap. Everything you see in here is the wood and also the white. It's a wrap, and this is also where I use on this one is a die knock material. Uh, I use two rolls, and the rolls are four foot by 164 feet long. And um, I'll put all the description down below in the box and how long it took me, and also uh, it took me 10 days to do. Also, the materials and everything. The uh, um, the process and there's all all the links will be down below uh, at, on, in, uh, doing the, the video okay so I'm going to just show you a little walkthrough in the techniques there are not techniques but the things I've done uh, to this boat uh, let's start over here real quick <clears throat> so what you're seeing right here we wrap I wrap everything and you can see all the wood grains all the same uniform so it's all coming all right here um, so one way is there's several different ways to do the doors and this one right here I want to make sure all the wood grain is the same so I wrap the sides too so and also I use after when I wrap it I cut it but also use sandpaper right here so it makes it nice and smooth uh, believe it or not you can use sandpaper on this on this uh, product it's yeah, just like real wood and also we wrapped all the way in and over and around um, every joint we, we do is, is butt joint so there is no no grab so every joint it, when we join the, the vinyl it's called a double cut it goes right through the same thing every joint we do is I we don't overlap or anything on this one <coughs> Okay, let's do, I'll do a little small or slow walkthrough. And right here, uh, um, we wrapped it with white. Also up here was white, or uh, we wrapped it with white. Uh, it used to look like, I don't know if you can see that, but, um, oh, it used to look like that right there. Of course I can't see anything. <laughs> and there, that's a little bit better. And I dropped the phone. Okay. Let's do right here. So we did the table. The table, um, <coughs> we're going to put polyurethane over it. Uh, it'll just it'll be a little more durable, but I told him, I said, if it ever gets damaged, you got plenty of vinyl left over. And you can, you can uh, do another vinyl on top of that if it ever gets damaged. But the polyurethane would uh, make it more bolt proof. That, that's one of the techniques and I did a video for those that door right there if you, if you want to look watch the video of how to wrap uh, a boat door okay so in the back room right here um, we try to do everything in one piece so everything right here you see right here is one piece and it's dark let me see if I can there you go. That's a little bit well. It's kind of cloudy outside, so right there. So everything right here. Let's go inside. <coughs> Let's kind of give you a little walk through right here. So the walls, everything is wrapped, including from top all the way down to the bottom underneath is all wrapped we try to make everything uniformed and wrapped and everything so on this one right here of course we can't move the electrical so we wrapped all the way around in one piece also hit all the doors the cabin tree and believe it or not, that was fun to do because I couldn't remove this thing right here and I couldn't remove this thing right here. Also, uh, I removed that right there, but I wrapped everything. Yeah, it looked pretty good. So we took one piece all right here and wrapped it all the way over there. The only thing I couldn't do right there, back there, because it was too far to wrap, is that back part right there. Um, it's just really challenging to get get it over. So we did everything down here. The oven is fine. 
the vinyl will be fine right next to the oven also we wrapped everything right here uh, in white the doors the walls <coughs> if you're looking for a boat wrap or a yacht wrap you can always get a hold of me it's 208 696 1180 armwraps at gmail.com you can go to armwrapsstore.com and pick out samples of what you want to see. It's, we have over a thousand uh, materials you can use of different textures and colors and wood grains and, and stuff like that. And I'm just showing you the possibilities of wrapping this boat. Like again, it took me 10 days for one guy to do this. I just want to show you this part right here. This is the most challenging part right here, believe it or not is going right behind the pole um, one sheet this is all one sheet it's about almost four feet so I hit that and went all the way down and also it was a that was the most challenging part right there of this, this one of the challenges with the boat okay here's the closet and the coat hanger try and go slow for you guys Okay, the bathroom. So the bathroom was pretty beat up, I guess. It, but man, it really turned out really good. I'm really happy that it turned out very nice. Okay, the sink, around the sink and everything. I had to do two cuts, basically. But you can see I cut all the way around. Um, cut lines right about there so I did one piece all the way halfway around and then I did another piece right around that okay so let's go on the front of the boat there we go did the walls the cabinetry the shelves and again for the shelves and all for the cabinetry it was it was particle board and I used zinger guards. I asked the uh, the people, the boat people, to use zinger guards all around it, and um, makes the vinyl stick a lot better. the tour tell me, tell me what you guys think you think this is it I say this is actually the booming another booming business going to be coming up because it's a lot cheaper wrapping uh, a boat and a yacht instead of replacing the wood and it's a lot faster also it's, you can update it very well and um, I, I see this is the next trend of 2019 and up and uh, it's growing. I'm getting more and more phone calls for this. So uh, stay tuned. Um, I'm, I do travel all around the country. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm starting a shop in Las Vegas and next week I'm going to be down there uh, doing a lot more videos and getting the shop ready and uh, going to show you how to do this and that and also if you want to stop by you can and I'll, so I'll send you the address and everything. If you want to talk to me, you're in Vegas. Also, in the first of the year, I'm going to go to Miami. And I have another yacht to do, but also a high-end kitchen to do. And I'm going to go from there. So if, when, if you're in Miami, if you want to get a hold of me, uh, it'll be uh, after the first of the year. And I can come over and check out some of your stuff. Also, whatever. So, okay. Thanks for watching. If you like this kind of stuff, subscribe to me. i got more videos coming. And if you want to get a hold of me, 208-696-1180. Uh, email me at rmraps at gmail.com. You can check all the materials out at rmrapsstore.com. And I would recommend doing samples or even one little sheet, a 4x8 or 4x3 sheet. And you can test it out or just see a bigger scale of what you're seeing. Uh, other than that, again, thank you for watching this video. Okay, talk to you soon.